Shemot, Exodus 12. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe and El Aharan in the land of Mitzrayim, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the assembly of Yasharel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man, according to his eating, shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats, and ye shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month. And the whole multitude of the assembly of Yasharel shall kill it in the evening. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper doorpost of the houses wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat at the flesh in that night, roast with fire, and matzah with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire. His head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. And that which remains of it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. And thus shall ye eat it, with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it, in haste. It is Yahuwah's peacock. For I will pass through the land of Mitzrayim this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Mitzrayim, both man and beast, and against all the Elahai of Mitzrayim I will execute judgment. I am Yahuwah. And the blood shall be to you for a mark upon the houses where ye are. And when I see at the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Mitzrayim. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. And ye shall keep it a feast to Yahuwah throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Seven days shall ye eat matzah. Even the first day ye shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eats chametz from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Yasharel. And in the first day, there shall be a holy assembly. And in the seventh day, there shall be a holy assembly to you. No manner of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat. That only may be done of you. And ye shall guard at the feast of Matzah, for in this selfsame day, have I brought at your armies out 
of the land of Mitzrayim. Therefore shall ye guard this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month at evening, ye shall eat matzah until the one and twentieth day of the month at evening. Seven days shall there be no chamats found in your houses. For whosoever eats that which is with chamats, even that soul shall be cut off from the assembly of Yasharel, whether he be a stranger or born in the land. Ye shall eat nothing with chamats. In all your habitations shall ye eat matzah. Then Moshe called for all the elders of Yasharel, and said unto them, Draw out and take you a lamb, according to your families, and kill the peacock. And ye shall take a bunch of hyssop, and dip it in the blood that is in the basin, and strike the lintel and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning. For Yahuwah will pass through to smite at the Mitzrim, And when he sees at the blood upon the lintel and on the two side posts, Yahuwah will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite you. And ye shall guard at this thing for an ordinance to you and to your sons forever. And it shall come to pass, when ye are come to the land which Yahuwah will give you, according as he has promised, that ye shall guard at this service. And it shall come to pass, when your children shall say unto you, What mean ye by this service? That ye shall say, It is the sacrifice of Yahuwah's Pekach, who passed over the houses of the children of Yasharel in Mitzrayim, when he smote at the Mitzrayim, and at delivered our houses. And the people bowed the head, and worshipped. And the children of Yasharel went away and did as Yahuwah had commanded at Moshe and Aharan. So did they. And it came to pass that at midnight Yahuwah smote all the firstborn in the land of Mitzrayim from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his throne unto the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of cattle. And Pharaoh rose up in the night, he and all his servants, and all the Mitzrayim. And there was a great cry in Mitzrayim, for there was not a house where there was not one dead. And he called for Moshe, and Aharon by night, and said, Rise up, and get you forth from among my people, both ye and the children of Yasharel, and go, serve at Yahuwah, as ye have said. Also take your flocks and your herds, as ye have said, and be gone, and bless me also. And the Mitzrayim were urgent upon the people that they might send them out of the land in haste, for they said, We be all dead men. And the people took at their dough before it was leavened, their kneading troughs being bound up in their clothes upon their shoulders. And the children of Yasharel did according to the word of Moshe, and they borrowed of the Mitzrayim jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And Yahuwah gave the people 
at favor in the sight of the Mitzrayim, so that they lent unto them such things as they required, and they spoiled at the Mitzrayim. And the children of Yasharel journeyed from Ra'amak to Kukoth, about 600,000 on foot that were men, beside children. And a mixed multitude went up also with them, and flocks and herds, even very much cattle. And they baked matzah cakes of et, the dough which they brought forth out of Mitzrayim, for it was not leavened, because they were thrust out of Mitzrayim and could not tarry. Neither had they prepared for themselves any victual. Now, the sojourning of the children of Yasharel, who dwelt in the land of Mitzrayim and in the land of Canaan, they and their fathers, was four hundred and thirty years. And it came to pass at the end of the four hundred and thirty years, even the selfsame day it came to pass, that all the hosts of Yahuwah went out from the land of Mitzrayim. It is a night to be much observed unto Yahuwah for bringing them out from the land of Mitzrayim. This is that night of Yahuwah to be observed of all the children of Yasharel in their generations. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe and Ahran, This is the ordinance of the Pikak. There shall no stranger eat thereof. But every man's servant that is brought for money, when you have circumcised him, then shall he eat thereof. A foreigner and a hired servant shall not eat thereof. In one house shall it be eaten. You shall not carry forth aught of the flesh abroad out of the house, neither shall ye break a bone thereof. All the assembly of Yashareel shall keep it. And when a stranger shall sojourn with you, and will keep the pekach to Yahuwah, let all his males be circumcised, and then let him come near and keep it. And he shall be as one that is born in the land. For no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. One Torah shall be to him that is home-born and unto the stranger that so more sojourns among you. Thus did all the children of Yasharael, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe and at Aharan, so did they. And it came to pass the selfsame day that Yahuwah did bring at the children of Yasharael out of the land of Mitzrayim by their armies.